Uh, okay, guys, guys, guys. We are, we are, we are, we are in film. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, you know, your first question is, what is your favourite TV crime drama and why? Jordan? Don't ask me. <laughs> come on, come why on. Why Breaking Bad? Yeah, but... Why? Because it's a mix of comedy and violence and, like, there are some really messed up like, <coughs> themes in it. Like, how... How specific can I be? Very specific. Because they got like messed up themes. There's like sexual assault and murder. Oh, you like watching that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> ben, Ben, what about you? I want to get that back here. Ben. Um, I like a TV show called Sherlock. Okay. Um, it's just it's a lot oh, different. I, I think. <laughs> um, it's it's a new story every single episode. Which I really like. It's not just right. The whole scene is not based on one story. <laughs> Right. I mean, sometimes it does lead up to something from every season, but it's just a lot different. Um, I like the character development in it. I think the script's brilliant. And cool. It's very tense as well. Okay. Blan, you're up. I don't up. really have a favourite. I mean, if, just if the things could start. <laughs> if, 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 if the crime drama's got a good story, I'll watch it. It's not the same for, like, everything. Huh? It's not the same for, like, everything. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Cheers. Salt. <laughs> True Detective. Oh, being helpful. Um, it explores some pretty. It, it, it explores tones really well, and it's really well acted, and it is really unique in how it presents America. Cool. Now, next question: What puts you off crime dramas completely, Jordan? Um, when they're quite unrealistic in terms of like when they try to put a a serious face on. But then don't quite get it right. Like I don't know, I don't right. know the name of it. I was only watching it briefly. But there was this thing on like BBC Two, where they were trying to be like really serious. They were trying to like find out the murder of someone, and they just arrested this guy because of a history of crime. They had like no evidence. Right. Yeah. Thing. They just outright yeah. arrested him and said, "We're arresting you on the murder of your daughter." So you're kind of you like it when it actually relates to reality and stuff. Okay. Cool. Ben. Um, I think. It depends how long the season is. Because if you have like one of the American shows, which goes on for like 21 episodes, An episode right, it just yeah. feels so dragged out. So you like it more compressed? Yeah, I think you've got to go for the a classic 12, 13 episodes. So yeah, quantity, not oh, no, yeah, quality, not. If it feels like it's being drawn out and the story's <laughs> not really going anywhere. Yeah. If you if you're like six episodes so you want, in and then no closer to. So you want something them. different for each episode. Hmm? So you want something different for each episode? Yeah, yeah. Find or if it's just episode. one, Focus. if it's just one crime that they're trying to solve, that it's not doesn't last forever. That's true. Yeah, Plot cause... twists that are really bad suck as well. Oh, the detective was the murderer the whole time. Yeah. that hasn't been done before. If I was yeah, that's true. So I, I agree with Ben. He needs to keep focus. And I think it's done stuff too long. But I also hate murder mysteries when you cannot, you have no chance of figuring out the answer. Like, you don't need. I don't want to. I don't want to be easy. But when, they, when it's just, oh, this detective's clever. Yeah, you kind of want, like, like, like in Broadchurch, when like Sherlock, Alex a bit, Sherlock. you know, and You Sherlock. have no chance. There's like a line where he just goes, I know this because I'm Sherlock. What's yeah. the point? Yeah, that's, that's, that's point. who he is. He's just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, but that's not, not good enough. It's not and really and they realistic. Don't, they don't show <laughs> the clues. Excuse yeah. me, the man who enjoys watching sex. Guys, come on. Come on. Breaking Bad. So, like, broad church where, you know, Alec, he's a bit like, he doesn't really know what's going on. It's a bit, there's too many... I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's in true, is it in true detective? Is it in true detective? Where, what do you mean? When, like, um, where, where, the, where the, the guy solving stuff doesn't actually know what's yeah. going on. Yeah, so it's, a, it's an actual mystery. Okay, so, yeah, so well, it's like, it's like, it's yeah, like you're going with, police, yeah, yeah, like, it's a cat. lot more involving if you are almost cool. going along with it. Cool. Now, is there something typical in a crime drama that really bugs you? Like something that happens like in every crime, most crime genres, okay. which kind of like... If it's like the classic, oh, the murderer, it was my brother. Yeah, well, so it's like, like, if the murder is quite obvious from like the start, yeah. which it quite yeah. often is. Or when, it, or when it's like, it seems obvious, like, yeah. like it's actually not that, but it was obviously not that person, it's, it's too like, early on. This, well, they, they lead like you series. into thinking it's someone else, but it's not. And yeah. Now sometimes that can be done quite well though. Mm. Yeah, sometimes it can be done yeah, really well, but, else, but yeah. Yeah. some of the time it's not done very well at all. I, I don't enjoy many love interests in ah. crime dramas. Yeah. It's, it's some, most of the time it's just unnecessary. They've got nothing to add to the story. It diverts from There's the actual no point. solving the crime, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. and the, like, I know it's a big thing, right? but the way that females are just put into the love interests, or like strippers who get killed half the time, it's a bit like I'm tired of it. How, I don't like how they like um, how the way it happens is like say it's like a murder mystery, 
and the person will be dead, they'll go to the crime scene, and then that's the last you hear of the dead person. All they're doing at that point is trying to find, like, how they, like, dehumanise the person that's been killed. Right. So once yeah. the murder's happened, they see it as a murder, but just that and not, like, justice so for the family of the person that killed. Person's they kind of forget of about that. That person's just, like, a chunk of evidence, really. Yeah. Cool. Um, what would, like, how would you make your main character, like, what would you make them be like? Depends on the story. Yeah, like if it's just a regular crime drama, like you know, not a rookie. Yeah, I don't like right. it when they do when they're like, oh yeah, this is our new guy. He's just in from the academy, and he's just all of a sudden the best at everything. He's an okay. ace and solves the crime yeah. in like two having days. having like a <laughs> like an aged veteran. Every, every, every loves a good old aged veteran, but I, yeah, I feel someone like I've, who's I've worked seen their way that up through the ranks. A lot of stuff. times, I've seen that a lot. Like it's either a rookie or a veteran. Have somewhere in the middle. Have somebody who maybe struggled. Just a regular blank different. The, the police. Like um, Brad Pitt from Seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Right, okay. Um, now, finally, um, do you prefer the title sequence before or after the main scene, and how would you like it to be? <laughs> after, because <coughs> the opening scene is kind of like the lead up to the opening credits. Mm. And if you like the opening credits, you kind of. It's, I don't know, having the opening scene before kind of makes you feel more excited. Especially if it's the first episode. Yeah, exactly. Right. If it's just there straight away, it's like I don't, know, I haven't, I don't know what the show's about. I don't know what this opening sequence means. So. If it's like um, an extended, yeah. if it's like an extended story, then maybe like the opening scene comes after. But if it's right. like a new, a new concept every time, they need to set the scene. Right. So mm -hmm. I like it being before. Okay. Cool. It also depends on the sequence. If, yeah. if it's a short one, it can happen at the start, or it can happen after. But yeah. Like, yeah, it depends where it fits. Cute. Alright. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that.